Hi, Pre-Work Island 2. I'm so sorry we didn't have a video for week six. I skipped last week mainly to give everybody a chance to catch up and learn French folk song. I've seen all of you over our FaceTime lessons now, so it's your job to make sure you've learned all of French folk song, okay? But today, for week seven, we are going to be learning more about Lightly Row. So I hope you all have had a chance to go pick up the packet at Kerner that has the notes. I'm not gonna do another big art project on my wall. Okay, so um, you'll have the sheet music that we're gonna talk about. So um, I, uh, we're gonna start though with the same warm up we did in week five's video about Lightly Row. That is the first rhythm that we're going to have in measure one and measure two is quarter note, quarter note, half note. Do you remember what we called it? What we called the two quarter notes and then the half note. We called it, we called the quarter notes quick, quick, because there are two of them. And then we called the half note with our bow slow bow. Okay, so we're going to do that rhythm quick, quick, slow bow in an A major scale. Let's do that one more time. I know we did that in the last video, but we're going to do that, that right now as a warm-up. Here we go. A major scale will repeat top A. One, two, ready, go. in tune? Were we matching intonation? Um, if not, you might have to think if there were ever times in class that I told you, oh, move a little bit past your tape. I didn't tell everybody that, just a few of you. Just try and remember if that helped you be more in tune. Um, I can't be there with you to adjust your tapes, so you're going to have to really use your ear to see, to, to ask yourself, was I matching Miss Anna when she just played that? Um, Okay, I want you to pause the video and I want you to go do one more A major scale and then when, we, when you come back, we're gonna learn some Lightly Row. Okay, so let's talk about the first two measures of line one. We have, again, quarter note, quarter note, half note, and then the next measure is the same thing. Let's talk about what notes those are. We have the first note is the very top space. It is an E right here. That's our first note, that's an E. And the next two notes, they're on that third space from the bottom. It's a C sharp, okay? So in that measure, we're gonna have the first note is on E string, but the next two notes are going to be on A string. So we need to make sure our bow knows what to do. So watch quickly. No fingers, no left hand fingers for right now. I know the note is going to be C sharp, but we're not going to play it yet. I just want you to practice having a really good string crossing going like this. One, two, here I go. Quick, cross, quick, slow. Okay, I did the first E, then the other two were A's because we're going to be crossing to the A string. Get your violin, let's do that together. Okay, stand nice and tall, flat violin, set up the most beautiful bow with the curved pinkies. I think I've had to tell a lot of people that make sure your pinky is soft and curved. Here we go. Quick, and then we cross, quick, slow, but we start on E. So it's E, A, a. Ready? One, two, ready, go. And 
then we stop and we're at our top tape. Let's do that again. Go back to your bottom tape. Ready? Relax your shoulders. Take a deep breath. Um, if you're having trouble crossing the string, that's okay. You just make sure to stop your bow like this. Stop and cross. Okay, you might have to put a freeze in there. Um, right now, I'm not going to practice with a freeze. I'm going to let you practice that more by yourself with the freeze. But this is what we're going to do. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Quick, quick, slow bow. Okay? That's what our bow is going to be doing the very first measure. Now let's talk about what the actual fingers we're going to do with our left hand are. So the very first note we, is an E. We just said that again, E. But then the next two notes are C sharp and C sharp. So we're gonna play that with our second finger, right? You don't have to have both fingers, both your first finger and your second finger on the tape. You can just have your, your one finger if you want. That's fine with me. If you wanna just put your second finger like this on the string and all of your other fingers are wiggling in the air. That's fine, okay? So now you just have to make sure you're really only on the A string. Your, your second finger can't be on both strings. It has to just be super tall, only touching the A string. Very tall finger box. And we do the same bowing that we just did and this is what we'll get. One, two, ready, go. Quick, quick, slow. Exciting, right? This is my... Let's do that again. One, two, ready, go. Make sure you're doing a slow enough bow on the half note, okay? Let's talk about the next measure, okay? We have this, the same rhythm, right? Quick, quick, and then... Ah! finger can't reach it. Slow bow for the half note. Two quarter notes, one half note again. This time though it's different pitches. Line note and line notes. What is the first line note? Every good boy deserves. It's a D. What are the next two? They look like they're in the same line. They're on the same line. Every good burger deserves fries. B. So we have D, B, B. Um, that, so um, let's put our bow at our top tape because we're going to start measure two at our top tape. And it goes D, B, B. So you're going to only have one D and then you're going to lift and have two Bs. Okay, and it's quick, quick, slow bow. Okay, watch once. One, two, here I go. Quick, quick, slow, bow. You have to make sure you're starting at the top tape for that measure. I'll, I'll show you again. One, two, ready, go. Quick, quick, slow, bow. That's the, it, when we sing it, that measure goes violin. So when we put them together, first measure goes like this. Set up your C sharp first. Set it up so it's ready to go but while you put your bow on E string. C sharp is on A string. Finger not touching the E string at all. Bow on E string. One, two, measure one. Quick, quick, slow bow. Now set up your third finger and your first finger. And we're going to go D, B, B for measure two. Ready, go. Okay, make sure to, that you're doing the correct bowing. We start at our bottom tape for the first measure. We start at the top tape in the second measure. We will end the second measure back at our top, at our bottom tape. Okay, let me show you. One, th these are both measures combined. Ready, go. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's this is my violin. Okay, 
Um, I hope you have a really fun time learning that. We will go over measure three and four next week. We're taking this a little slowly. I want everybody to get caught up because I know a lot of people are still working on French folk songs. So we'll take this a little slowly. Can't wait to see you in your lessons, guys. Okay, bye.